What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. And also click the thumbs up and give me a like on this video. See, so as usual my people, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So we just have to get right into it. Let me see a 74 year old man drop out in a Saint Anne. See? In? A 74-year-old man is suspected to have drowned in a tank in Monique Saint Anne on Saturday. He is Eustace Walters of Gearfield, Monique. Police say that around 2 p.m. Walters reportedly fell into a tank and drowned. The lawmen were called to the scene after residents stumbled upon his body. His body was retrieved from the water tank and was taken to hospital where death was confirmed so r.i.p and condolences to the family so we are going to go over back over in a saint and my people right and them say a saint and man has been charged with attempted m-u-r-d-e-r seeing so him run down a man and bill him up seeing the man lose all the hand people a 30-year-old man from St. Mary has been charged with attempt murder and assault at common law following a C-H-O-P-P-I-N-G incident in Highgate Town Centre in the parish on October 30. Charge is Cleon Williams, otherwise called Gavin, labourer and mechanic of Ibiscus Avenue, I get. Reports from the Port Maria police are that about 5.30 p.m. an argument developed between Williams and the complainant during which he allegedly pulled a machete from his vehicle and chased him. The man fell to the ground and Williams proceed to CHOP the man on his arm, severing it. He was assisted to hospital where he was treated. Williams turned himself over to the police on Thursday and was charged a day later. He is booked to appear in court on November 8th. So, the man can't control them temper bridging. See, I know what occurred here so still. If he rush the man them way there. See, the man try to take away himself, drop, run down upon him and build him up. So, I say, Speedy recovery to him still, you know what I mean? But him lose a limb, so that bad. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section, my people. Cops waiting forensic result to determine cause of death of body found in June. The Chile and the police are awaiting forensic result to determine what caused the death of a man whose body was found afloat in Falmouth's drag line. A massive earth drain that runs across section of the town. Seen on Thursday afternoon. Residents have identified the deceased as Tajay Douglas, also called Jupi, of Zion Martha Bray in the parish. Reports from the Corporate Communications Unit, the communications arm of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, are that about 4.15 p.m. residents summoned the police after the body was seen afloat in the large drain the body was subsequently taken from the water by members of the fire brigade the police are also awaiting forensic results to determine the identity of a partially decomposed female body which was discovered in falmouth on saturday october 29 so a day after them find this woman here decomposing body them find this man here this man here joining our tank too so guys, let me know what you think in the comment section and also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Security guard charge after K-I-L-L-I-N-G man during confrontation. A security guard has been charged with several offenses after he opened fire at a man during a confrontation. The incident occurred on King Street on October 30. According to the Central Kingston Police, 39-year-old Leroy Taylor, a security guard of Spalling Boulevard, Kingston 20, had an altercation with a man ca called Greenwood 
after Greenwood went to a store on King Street. During the confrontation, Greenwood allegedly pulled a knife and attacked the security guard. The guard reportedly pulled his firearm and opened fire at Greenwood. Lawmen were then contacted and Greenwood was transported to hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Taylor was later arrested and charged after a question and answer session. The security guard has been charged with unauthorized use of a firearm, unauthorized possession of ammunition and using a firearm to commit a felony. So them said this guy is a security guard. See, I don't know if him depend on duty when this happened. I don't know if him have a permit for the machine where him have. Because here we go on people. You see, if you have a permit for the, for the machine where you have, if you use it unlawfully, they are going to charge you for like illegal possession of a firearm and them something there. All when you have a permit. You see me I say? If you use it unlawfully, then they might go charge you for those things. But it look like say him never have no permit for your machine. You see it. So if me get no more update on this, I'm gonna share it with you guys. Like up the video, my people. Please and thanks. And also subscribe to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber. And also click that top bell icon so you can get notified when there is anything new on the channel. Right? And what I want to do for my people, please and thanks, is to give this video a thumbs up. You see what I say? Yeah, man, give this video a thumbs up, man. It help with the, vi with the video. You know what I mean? It help to push the video further. So, please give it a thumbs up. Right? And if you can't see the option for give it a thumbs up, one X is going to be on your right hand side on the screen. Click on that X there, and you're going to get the option for like the video. So, people, me see a thing we are journalists. A broadcast from him home in the Philippines, seeing and a man ride up on a bike and get access in the recording studio. You see me, I say where my broadcast from and can up the man on Facebook Live, seeing and take off him gold chain off him off him neck and take away himself on a bike where out there wait on him. Seeing so I ride out there wait for him on a bike, you know. Get access in the place, can up the um the broadcaster and just take away himself. So I go put a video right here so people of the woman we fling down her picnic. You see me I say while she are try to fight an ex woman. She are gonna explain why she do it and re re re. You see me? So I want to leave an opinion in the comment section because I want to know what you want think. Because me, boy, may I tell you, some of them youth here get birth by a mother who is not really ready for a picnic. You see me? Because the first instinct of a mother is to protect the child at all costs. So me I say, so me I go leave the video here so my people. I wanna tell me what you think in the comment section. I am Kimia Barton and I am 21. All right, so Kimia, we saw where a viral video went on on social media where you were involved in a fight and you tossed the baby on the ground and then lift the baby back up with um, one arm. Can you take us through what happened that night? I was out at the road and when I was at the road, when I was at the road. Um, a girl named Onika, she teased my baby clothes and when she took them, me they accosted them and want them back. And Shavanese, one girl named Shavanese, took up the argument, which she now come on me had to take my baby clothes. Then they called Talia because through then was a Talia they always a bully me, that I'm a baby, that I'm a baby cousin. Then when Talia come, she started to cuss me and class me and call me all type of names. Me cuss her back. I tell her things, she tell me things, and then she come down and she choked me, started to fight me. She fist me, and when she fist me, she fist the baby out of my hand. She start beat me, I tell her real bad. None of them now have video that, because her company, they video it. They now video when she beat me. When I feel dizzy because of C friction, I do have pressure on all of them because something there. So I feel dizzy, I never do want to really drop the baby, I never do want to drop the baby. But through me feel dizzy, I don't want her to get no serious damage. So me I try to put her down, but through want iPhone they have, they take it to make it look like they I just drop me drop the baby so. 
which me not go do that because me am a good mother to my baby. And I love him so me not go do that. And he mother, when me, at regular basis, this is what they do to me you know, because they know me not have nobody to defend me. Me not have nobody at all to defend me. One, when me a breed, he mother beat me. Beat me and sent me to go on a station because Talia have a policeman. And the policeman did all say him and shoot me at all type of that. And I did go station and go report it. And so you're saying it's a regular occurrence yeah. where they, they bully you? Yeah, every time because they know me not nobody to step up for me. I have no money, I have nothing at all. So when they do this now, they feel like it all get away. So how is the baby doing? We realize that the CPSFA has the baby in the care now. Did you send in the baby? Yes. A scenario because I know I'm not wrong and I'm not wrong because I love my baby and I know I'm not wrong. This is a regular habit that they normally do to my baby. They even tell the boy Rashid, don't mind the baby. I have to buy baby clothes by my own. I'm not trouble and I move out of the house because I live with them, rent one house myself. I want home and I start my life. I catch up me here them and I get my little things and I change to buy pampas and stuff. They not give baby nothing. I don't know if you, so, have, if, you, if you have seen the comments on social media where persons are bashing you, saying you're a bad mother and you should be arrested. What would you want to say to the nation now, given what has happened? I want to tell the world I'm so sorry because I feel dizzy that the baby dropped out of my hand. I'm so sorry. I am a good mother and I will not do that. If I was in the right mind, I would not do that to my child. Because I know how serious it is, so I'm not going to do that to my child. And I know Twinkle just one, six months. If she get one serious lick, she dead, I'm going to prison. I'm not going to do that, and I know I'm going to go to prison by the end of the day, and I don't have nobody to help me. But this is a regular habit where they normally do. But then they, they may talk, they may say they never have a video if you put up people and something, but anyway, you get away. And the girl now, she run away, she gone, because she knows she wrong. And she do it and she had to talk about how she share if she put up here and there something. So are you hoping that you will be able to get your baby back, given some training I and wish. all of that? I hope, I hope. You know, I love my baby. Even when my breasts are leak, I cry. I cry night, I cry day, I cry. Because I love my baby and my baby doesn't deserve to go home. None at all. Twinkle a baby.